on in this video we will extend our discussion on linear regression this video is mainly a recollection of stuff we have already done and uh, to extend a bit more to see what is cost of determination and uh, to see what will be the results of the two that two equation two variable which we talked about in our last video so let's start by the end of this video you will be able to understand linear regression and its application Derive the slope and intercept formula for this algorithm. Know how to calculate the accuracy score or coefficient of determination. So, the linear regression is the most basic algorithm in machine learning. Uh, it is the simplest one and it is really useful when it, uh, we are required to predict continuous values, that is, the output of the variable is continuous in nature. That's the meaning of regression, right? So, uh, a few examples. What is the market value of the house? I told you on the basis of area and price last last video. Stock price prediction, sales of a shop, predicting height of a person. Like you can uh, say that what is the height is to weight ratio. You can just roughly calculate from a, a variety of data and you can also start predicting the height of a person on the basis of the weight. So uh, ML algorithm can do a lot of interesting stuff. You can search those out. Uh, so terms which are to be used here, features, target output, you know this, hypothesis function, this is the, uh, I did y equals to mx plus c, but there can be n features, right, there can be n features which are giving one particular output y, so in that case the equation will be something like this, and there we will get, we have to differentiate n times, right, we have, we have n plus 1 variable, so we have to differentiate n plus 1 times, we will get n plus 1 equation and n plus 1 variable, we will solve all those and get to our point formula so what are the types of linear regression it can be simple linear regression or it can be multiple linear regression if more than one independent variable is used to predict the value of a numerical uh, independent variable then then such a linear regression is known as multiple linear regression so basically the multiple coefficient one so let us first see what in case of simple linear regression uh, this is usually not since it might, I, I explained you very nicely in the previous video why we won't exactly sum it because this value may be negative and positive negative may cancel out and we may say have we may say that we are having zero error even if our error is a huge right. This is also not used uh, positive and negative that problem stays here. So this is what exactly done. This is known as mean squared error. This method is used mostly. So it is simple uh, linear regression using a scale and we can do first, you know this the, uh, to apply any ML algorithm, we can have to load the data, split the data into training and testing model, generate the model, evaluate the accuracy. Here accuracy will be our coefficient of determination. So it is used to analyze how differences in one variable can be explained by differences in the second variable. So we have a reference variable mean, so this way we can calculate our coefficient of determination where t stands for true value and p is for predicted value these are the mean we can uh, the denominator uh, we can f uh, use uh, for a reference point uh, y t mean represent the pair predicting a score as worse as its mean value meaning all the answers are the mean value of the data so to get a sense of how this formula exactly works we can just put y p equals to y t so what is the worst thing we can do we can do right we start predicting the mean of all our outputs so that is really worse but what is the score if you put here our score will be zero so with reference to the mean how much is we accurate as our error will go uh, as our this score will go close to one we are going more accurate and we can basically perc uh, find percentage accuracy by multiplying this entire thing by 100 we can do that so you can see if we put yp equal to yt mean i told you we will get one by one it will be it will, it will cancel out if the both numerator and denominator are same yp equal to yt mean so in that case we will get a zero score one minus one zero so that's the worst thing which we can do in this algorithm so i told you uh, explained you uh, properly what is this cost function all about we need to minimize this cost function uh, we have to take the partial derivative which is in the uh, function of m, m and b we are just 
taking the partial derivative of with respect to m we are getting one equation right we are getting this equation by dividing by n also and simply by doing dc by dv we will get this get to this and then we will put the value of b here in this equation and calculate m we will get this as our result this will is our final result for the value of m and b we can easily calculate from m only by putting the value of m here so this this is how basically the computer would work here so yeah that's all from this video it was a short one and uh, from next video uh, we will actually implement this in uh, in python jupyter notebook and we will see uh, our application of the first uh, our uh, we will basically build the first ai model in the next video so thanks a lot